in the keynote, one of the examples Microsoft gave was a new app, app called Story Remix, and uh, that's the main change with this build. Now, actually, it's not really a new app. It's an evolution of the Photos app. So you can fire up the Photos app in this build and, ha and have a look. You'll see it's got this transparent border. You can see it slightly peeking through there. They call it, I think, the acrylic design, I think they call it. And the other thing you'll notice, well, the way that things reflow as you resize them. You see how they dynamically uh, reflow in. And uh, see if I can show that. There you go. You see things move around. Also, the scroll bar interacts. And the way that things move around and animate and those kind of things like that, you see. That is all part of this fluid, fluid design. But what's actually changed with the app? Well, it, so there's quite a lot, actually. And uh, Microsoft do did do a really good walkthrough on their uh, video, which I think is available up on Channel 9. I'll just show you some of the highlights. The idea with this really is you can pick an event um, and then... I think I've got some that I played with earlier. Okay, here we go. So here's a day where I took a load of photos. And you can then create a story on this. So here's all photos and videos from from that day. And I'm going to edit this story. There you go. So um, here it's automatically brought all these in and it's created the transitions and everything else. It's done the duration, it's added filters, and we can. You see, it's created um, the whole story. It's put, I didn't do any of this. It's put them in the sequence. It's added the music. The cut, the music cuts to the to the pictures, and um, it's added the motion and everything else. So um, it's quite an interesting feature, and it's it's really easy to do. Um, you just create a story from your day, really. And then I can export this, share this. Um, Let's have the quickest, and it creates a video preview, and then I guess I can share that out. There's a lot to this app, but you get the idea. It's it's a way of sort of creating your these videos, and it's still the photos app really, but it's it's uh, a lot more now, and it's got a lot built-in search. You can search by dates and people, and you know you can, it's really very flexible flexible uh, tool now and there's a lot that it can do with it so um, yeah I'm looking forward to play with this a bit more and so say Microsoft have a really good video demonstration of it as well